Hi, lesson 1, Analog Clock. In this video, we will learn about the basic facts of an analog clock. An analog clock is usually round in shape with numbers from 1 to 12 marked on it. Look at this picture. If you see closely, 12 always comes on top of the analog clock. These numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. These are always marked in clockwise direction and these numbers tells us hours. <clears throat> To read the minutes of the clock, what we do, look at this picture, we use our 5 times table facts or counts in 5 and start writing 5 times table from top to bottom on both the sides. So, for example, I have divided this clock into 2 halves. This is my one half and that's my another half. So ignore the top points 12 and 6. I have put 5 times table 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So from 5 to 25 on this half and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 on <clears throat> this half. So, these numbers 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 are going to help me read my minutes part of the time. Also, look at 12, 3, 9 and 6. Look at these four special numbers. When my minute hand points to any of these numbers, Instead of writing the minutes in numbers, we use words. So, if my minute hand is pointing to 3, we use quarter. Same for 9, we use quarter. For 6, we use half. And for 12 minute position, we use o'clock. If you look closely, this is nothing but a circle. If you cut the circle in vertically in half, this is one half and that's another half. So look at the points 12 and 6. They fall on the half sides. So that is why we call 6 as a half point. Okay. Again, if the same circle is cut into quarters, now look carefully, this is how I am intersecting this circle into quarters. So these two numbers that comes on the quarter line are my 3 and 9. So these are my quarter points. Okay, so now let me give you a quick recap of what we have learned. Number 1 to 12. Tells hours. To read minutes. Use counts of five on both half. Like that. So we divide the clock into two halves and leaving 12 and 6, our half points, leaving them alone, we write down the counts in 5 on both the sides. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and same way on the other side. Now also we have learned about four standard words. We use standard words o'clock 
for number 12 quarter for 3 and 9 and half for 6 okay so whenever our minute hand and these numbers are used for the position of minute hand so whenever my minute hand is pointing to any of these number 12 3 6 9 instead of using minutes in numbers we use quarter half o'clock we use standard words okay these are my standard words used in analog time now let's look at the needles in analog clock we have two needles big needle and small needle my big needle is used to read minutes so big needle tells minutes small needle tells you hours okay big needle tells me minutes small needle tells me hours so whenever we use time whenever we have to read or write time there are two parts of the time minutes and hours so we use the position of big needle to read minutes of the time and we use the position of small needle to check the hours okay also there is another element in the analog time to and past if you have seen anywhere written time in analog format the time is always written with two special words to and past so again i will help you to describe these two words with the help of a clock face look at this picture again i have vertically divided my clock into two parts and on this side i have written past and on this side i have written two now let's understand what's the meaning of two and past past means gone which will not come again you have already crossed it right so past means gone it is an english word two means yet to happen so two is the time to be used for the time which is not yet happened and will happen in future past we use for the time that has already been happened it's past now it's gone now and for the minute position when it is on this half we use past and when the minute hand is on this half we use two okay so how to read the time and how to actually write in the proper format that we will cover in the next part of the video in this video we only learned about the basic facts of analog time thank you